Hello, in this video we'll be covering the SQL statement lookup transformation. The SQL statement lookup transformation, first of all, is a record transformation, meaning that it only operates on the values within a record and not modifying the entire data set itself, uh, which means that you can map uh, around the transformation. I need not have everything flow through the transformation as if it were a data set transformation. Uh, also, it is a lookup translation of the source co uh, values coming from the source record in order to get me uh, one or more different values uh, as the output of this transformation. Uh, so for example, in my source data you can see that I have a bunch of employee data including the employee ID. Uh, I want to take this employee ID and retrieve data that's not in this particular table. I want to retrieve it from another uh, table or multiple tables or a view or even a stored procedure in order to get me this uh, data here that you see on the right. So you have parameters coming uh, on the input here on the left side and the resultant schema of the record or the return values coming on the right. So if I preview the data on my actual lookup transformation you can see that I have my employee ID and then all of the other data that I looked up based on the values coming from the source. Uh, you'll also notice that the first record here uh, is has basically blank because uh, it was not able to retrieve uh, the value passed in from the source record, and this is con this is configurable uh, in the properties of the lookup transformation. So uh, to use this, uh, uh, now I'll show you how to use the SQL statement lookup transformation. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new data uh, due to data flow where I do have a source and a target uh, and I have pretty much all the data that I need from the source except I'm missing the first name and the last name so to, to do this I'm gonna go to the toolbox and look under the transformation section and look for the SQL statement lookup icon I'm gonna drag and drop onto the designer uh, and right away you'll see that this is a blank uh, layout. It doesn't even have a tree yet. So in order for me to configure this I'll either double click or right click and select properties. And the very first thing that I have to configure is the database connection. Uh, and this is the same connection screen you'll see anytime you connect to a database provider in Centerprise uh, where you must specify what the provider is that you want to perform the lookup on. Uh, we have all of the same uh, providers that you can use anywhere in Centerprise. Uh, depending on the provider, you'll you'll have different um, connection properties. Uh, for this case, in SQL Server, I'm just going to pick the local login. In fact, I'm going to use uh, one that I've already uh, tested here, and click on the next screen. The next screen is the screen where I enter my ac the actual syntax in order for me to retrieve values. So for example, I'm going to type in select first name, comma, last name from person dot contact where contact ID is equal to and here is the parameter that I'm going to pass in from Centerprise. So anytime uh, Centerprise sees this uh, parameter symbol, it's going to replace it at runtime. And it's going to, for every single record that it gets, uh, it's going to pass in whatever the mapped value is into this parameter. So once I click OK, you can see that my layout now as the parameters on the left and the whatever I'm selecting uh, and you can, if you remember I selected first name and last name here on the right so in this case I will map my contact ID to the parameter and the output I will map to my target first name and last name so there was a couple other uh, options that you saw on that screen which I would like to revisit and that's uh, and that's namely the warning and error message properties. Uh, this, depending on if you select this or not, you'll be able to write this record uh, to a target. 
So for example, if I'm writing to a file and I do not have the looked up value, it'll not write that uh, value to the file. If I still want it to write to the file and even though I was not able to look up the value from the lookup, I will select I would select this option, assign warning and proceed. I also have uh, caching options, uh, very similar to uh, all the caching options that you've seen with other lookups. Uh, the only difference with uh, the SQL statement lookup uh, caching is that you'll see that the load all lookup values at start is disabled. And the reason for that is, is because we don't know what the values are at start until we get the actual values because uh, of course this statement is dynamic. So the best you can do with the SQL statement lookup uh, caching is the cache after loading. The next screen is the SQL statement uh, uh, lookup layout building screen. This screen gives you uh, the ability to uh, build the, the layout based on your query or your SQL statement. So in this case we have uh, a statement where we have the at CID. If we have a more complicated statement where we can't infer what the data type is based on that statement, you can use this uh, layout builder to supply uh, test values in order to build your query. So here you can see we have the first column being name, which is the parameter. For, so for every single parameter you have in your query, you'll get a row in this grid. Uh, the, second, uh, the second column being the data type, and this is just here for your convenience so you know how to write this, uh, this the value in this third column which is the value which is the value that will be uh, uh, that will be replaced uh, in the actual statement uh, and then you have the option to use null if you'd like so I'm going to go ahead and leave that null and click uh, once you have this all this grid filled out in order for you to run that statement you'll click the build output and you'll get this message. Once you do, you can click OK and you should have your layout. Um, so a couple of other things uh, about the SQL uh, statement lookup which you'll probably want to be aware of is, the, is when to use it. Um, so for example, <clears throat> if I go to uh, this one here, you can see where I have a lookup and it's looking up contact info as we were before. Uh, in this case though, you can see that for every single vendor I have a contact uh, ID uh, about this vendor uh, which means that it's never going to appear more than once in this lookup so the, if I, even if I have caching enabled uh, it's never going to be used more than once because it's, it's unique records inside this list here so what's going to happen is that for every single record I'm going to make a trip to the database uh, in order to retrieve all this information here that you see that I'm writing into my target. So when you have this situation where you're not getting a lot out of the caching out of a lookup, you may want to look into uh, using a join instead. So going back to my uh, lookup here and if I preview my destination data where it looks like this, uh, you can see where I have <clears throat> completely different people. All It's all unique list here, which means that for every single row I had to make a trip to the database. Uh, and, and contrast that with uh, if I use a join instead of the lookup, which will, which will net me the same data set, but, result, but will take much fewer uh, trips to the database in order to get that data. Uh, because I'm just querying once here, querying once there, joining that in memory and then writing to the target. So uh, you want to be sure that you uh, are looking up in a proper uh, usage. So for example, this is a much better candidate for a lookup where my data looks like this. Or I have uh, you know, contact uh, type ID and you see that I have a finite set of records uh, coming from that contact table or contact type table I should say and here you can see I'm making uh, a much better use of the caching of the component. Um, so once you have uh, that nailed down you should be able to on your way to be able to use the SQL statement lookup. Uh, thank you very much.